Get ready for a mind-bending trip into the world of spatial reality as the company formerly known as Xreal has recently started an ad campaign on Twitter basically saying that you can go spatial now with these guys right here, the Xreal Airs, not a sponsored video, in addition to an add-on accessory which we're going to talk about later. But first, Mark Zuckerberg took the stage at Meta's recent All Hands event to share his thoughts on Apple's long-awaited headset announcement. Zuckerberg's remarks shed light on his initial impressions and provided insight into Meta's strategic direction in the augmented reality and virtual reality spaces. Expressing his curiosity about Apple's offering, Zuckerberg acknowledged that he had yet to experience the product firsthand, but anticipated learning more as it becomes available and observing how many people embrace and utilize it. Despite not having access to the device, he noted that there didn't appear to be any magical solutions presented by Apple that Meta's team hadn't already explored and considered. He specifically mentioned Apple's decision to incorporate a high-resolution display and the trade-offs associated with it, such as increased costs and the need for a battery and wire connection. Zuckerberg emphasize the importance of differing values and visions between Apple and Meta. While Meta prioritizes accessibility and affordability, striving to ensure their products cater to a wide range of users, Apple's approach, as demonstrated by their announcement, seemed to focus more on individual experiences. Zuckerberg highlighted Meta's commitment to creating fundamentally social AR VR experiences, promoting interaction, and fostering a sense of closeness among users. He contrasted this with Apple's demos, which predominantly showcased individuals using the headset in isolated settings. Furthermore, Zuckerberg reaffirmed Meta's dedication to building an inclusive metaverse and enabling active engagement. He emphasized that Meta's vision revolves around people interacting in new and meaningful ways, in contrast to a solitary couch-based experience. While acknowledging that Apple's vision could be a potential future of computing, he made it clear that it diverges from the direction Meta aims to pursue. Zuckerberg's remarks concluded on an optimistic note expressing excitement about Meta's ongoing endeavors and the competitive landscape. The Apple announcement further solidified his confidence that Meta's work holds holds great significance and will ultimately succeed. He acknowledged that the journey ahead would be challenging, but emphasized the thrill and potential for success, which promises to deliver even more immersive experiences. The contrasting philosophies and strategies between Meta and Apple further underscore the evolving landscape of AR, VR, and the competition to define the future of computing. During an interview segment with Lex Fridman, Mark Zuckerberg discussed the highly anticipated Quest 3 headset showcasing its advancements and drawing comparisons to Apple Vision Pro. The conversation provided insights into Meta's commitment to innovation in the augmented reality and virtual reality industry. Quest 3, recently announced by Meta, has generated significant excitement among enthusiasts. While detailed specifications have yet to be revealed, Meta has disclosed some notable improvements. The upcoming headset boasts a 40% thinner visor and a GPU that is more than twice as powerful as its predecessor, the Quest 2. According to Zuckerberg, Quest 3 features 40% sharper screens compared to Quest 2, delivering a visually enhanced experience. Additionally, it offers enhanced enhanced pass-through mixed reality capabilities that outperform Quest Pro. Zuckerberg emphasized the design choices between Quest Pro and Quest 3. Quest Pro utilizes black and white cameras to reconstruct the real world, which is then colorized using a single central color camera. In contrast, Quest 3 incorporates dual 4 megapixel color cameras and a depth sensor, resulting in a superior mixed reality experience with higher fidelity visuals. Meta recently unveiled the first gameplay footage of Quest 3's mixed reality showcasing impressive pass-through quality and room-aware features. Early impressions from individuals who tested Quest 3, including Fridman, have been overwhelmingly positive. Fridman described the pass-through experience as well done and expressed surprise at the headset's affordable price point of $500. In terms of input methods, Zuckerberg expressed a preference for tracked controllers in the MetaQuest lineup, emphasizing their advantages for gaming and tactile interaction. While acknowledging the elegance of gaze and gesture controls, he highlighted the enhanced immersive experience provided by controllers. Apple Vision Pro, the highly anticipated spatial computing headset, introduces a unique control mechanism that combines eye track and hand gestures to provide an intuitive and seamless user experience. And people that have used it say it's magical. During a developer talk at WWDC 23, Apple design engineers delved into the details of how users can interact with Vision Pro's Vision OS using their eyes and hands. In Vision OS, the user's eyes function as the targeting system, similar to using a mouse or hovering a finger over a touchscreen. User interface elements respond to eye contact, providing clear indications of selection. For instance, when the user looks at a specific item, it is highlighted to confirm the selection. Gazing at the menu bar expands it, while fixing one's gaze on a microphone icon triggers speech input instantly. Performing actions like clicking, scrolling, zooming, and rotating is made intuitive through a combination of eye tracking and hand gestures. To scroll, users keep their fingers pinched and flick their wrists up and down, like so. 
Zooming in or out is accomplished by pinching both hands together and moving them apart. Like Minority Report, rotating an object follows a similar principle, but with upward and downward hand movements. All these gestures are guided by the user's gaze, allowing for precise control without the need for holding hands up in the air or using laser pointer controls. Vision Pro's interaction system is made possible by its advanced true depth hand tracking sensor suite and precise eye tracking. While Meta's Quest Pro could have potentially adopted a similar approach, the reliance on camera-based hand tracking may have posed challenges, especially considering the absence of eye tracking in Quest 2 and 3. Early impressions from individuals who have tried Vision Pro highlight the elegance and intuitiveness of the eye and hand gesture controls. Testers have praised the combination as an improvement over previous headsets, with one reviewer stating that it felt gratifying to see Apple perfect this interaction system. It aligns with Apple's renowned philosophy of, it just works. By delivering a seamless and natural way to interact with the spatial environment. While eye tracking and hand gestures are effective for many tasks, there are certain scenarios where using hands directly offers a better experience. For example, entering text on Vision OS involves using both hands to type out a virtual keyboard. Tasks such as inspecting and manipulating small 3D objects or recreating real-world interactions are better suited for direct touch interactions. Meta is also exploring direct touch interaction in its software. In fact, it's in the Quest 2 and Pro right now. However, Meta's approach involves using direct touch touch for all interactions, mimicking a touch screen rather than selectively for specific tasks. While this method does not require eye tracking, it necessitates holding hands up in the air which can be fatiguing over extended periods of time. As Apple Vision Pro and Meta's Quest series continue to push the boundaries of spatial computing technology, the industry eagerly anticipates the ongoing advancements in user interaction and the potential for more immersive experiences. Apple has just ushered us all into a new era with its spatial computing platform led by Apple Vision Pro. Its futuristic capabilities have captivated the imagination of the world and are sure to define the next generation of not only computing, but also pop culture. But what if I told you that there's a way to experience some of those amazing features right now without breaking the bank? Enter Xreal. Formerly known as Nreal, with their Xreal Air Glasses and the Xreal Beam. You can use this with your game console, your phone, what have you. Basically anything that plugs into HDMI. But it would basically just be a stationary screen in front of you as you moved, it would move. A lot of people found that really uncomfortable. Enter Xreal Beam. The Xreal Beam is a compact add-on device that works in conjunction with the Xreal glasses. It allows you to resize and reposition virtual screens on any device, giving you an unprecedented level of customization and control. Normally, you would have a virtual screen that follows your head movements that are anchored to a specific direction. With side view, it'll shrink the display and move it to the side to finally avoid visual interference while still being able to enjoy a show. It's like stepping in and out of your own augmented reality theater. Anywhere! And the best part, the Xreal Beam offers universal compatibility, allowing you to experience its magic across a wide range of devices like iPhone, Android, Switch, PS5, Xbox, and more. And with its anti-shake stabilization feature, the x Beam ensures a comfortable viewing experience without any annoying screen shaking. Now when it comes to battery life, the x Air Airglasses and x Beam do not disappoint. The x Air Airglasses, while plugged into the x Beam with its 4870mAh capacity, provides three and a half hours of battery life, as well as an ultra-long standby time of more than seven days and can be used while charging. x Beam does support 27 watt fast charging to go from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. So you can get back to your game or show or whatever. Get the x Air Glasses right now with its massive 201 inch micro OLED display from Amazon for only $379, link in the description. And you can pre-order the x Beam on x website, packages ranging from $109 for the Beam itself to an x Air and Beam bundle for $488, just like on the thumbnail. And now it's time for Reality Check, where we dive into the flip side of the news stories discussed today. Let's start with Mark Zuckerberg's comments about the Quest 3 having superior video pass-through compared to the Quest Pro. Wow, some of you might feel a little frustrated by this revelation, considering the trust we've placed in Meta when we bought this thing for $1,500 last October, and then they dropped the price five months later by $500. But that's not the part that really gets me. What really gets me is that the year prior, when they were talking about Project Cambria, they would show us a very sharp color pass-through. On the commercials, they would show extremely sharp, extremely clear, extremely freaking accurate mixed reality. These are things I've yet to see to this day on Quest Pro. To this day, I've yet to see that. Quest Pro is a fantastic PC VR device. It's a good Quest 2 device also, because it's not anything outside of a Quest 2. But personally, I feel like we got screwed over. Okay, so let me get this straight. So you have us pay $1,500, five months later, drop it by 500. And then just a few months later after that, in September, you're going to expect us to spend another $500. And then you have people saying, I can't I can't believe you got the price only to $500. No shit, you literally had the enthusiast subsidize the Quest 3. That is what you did. It's bad enough, you literally rose the price 
of the Quest 2 just so you can drop the price now and look like fucking heroes. You guys are treating headsets like gas. Seriously. That's what they do with gas. They raise the prices sky high and then they start to drop and that way people are like, hey, the prices are down. Oh, and what about the depth sensor? Yes, depth sensor. Interestingly, the same depth sensor that's now present on the Quest 3, which Meta refers to as Meta Reality, was originally taken out of the Quest Pro when Meta claimed that the sensor needed to be removed because it had the ability to see through clothes. Now, less than a year later, it seems either they fixed the issue, hoped we forgot, or simply didn't care about their previous claims. Now, it's interesting also because I see this, but then I also see that Andrew Bosworth said not long ago at all that the reason it was taken out was due to price and weight. But don't worry, it'll be in a future iteration. Pretty sure they nerfed this thing on purpose. And if you haven't already hit that like button, go ahead and do that, support the channel, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.